What's up guys, it's your boy Irfan, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be talking about how to survive second year biology major at UCSB. So first of all, congratulations for finishing the freshman year. Um, it, I know it was difficult with the intro chemistry series, but um, so second year is going to be more challenging. Uh, there's definitely more challenges in your way because you have more course load. So throughout this video, I'm going to be give you tips how to survive those challenges, how to overcome those challenges. Because uh, when I was at your shoes uh, going to sophomore year, um, I knew it was going to be hard, but I didn't have a guide system that tells me what things I should do. So I'll be more ha than happily to make this video to help you guys out uh, for your second year. Tip number one is to study every single day for all your courses. Um, so if you have four courses, then you have to manage your time to study for all your courses. Maybe spend hour for OCHEM, hour for bio, hour for physics, and like an hour for GE. Um, you have to study every single day, so you don't want to get uh, behind uh, the pace. So you know, some of the professors go fast, some of the professors go slow. So you have to uh, catch up with their pace. Uh, don't just waste your time. Say, oh, I'll do it next weekend or I'll do it this weekend. You have to be on the track. Um, sophomore year is all about time management, like um, having the right set of uh, like mind that's saying, I'll be doing these this uh, today and like uh, I'll be uh, finishing everything tomorrow is the best mindset in my opinion because uh, you want to plan everything so you know what your week is going to look like you don't want to just say oh I'll study um, like last week's notes um, today like no when they teach you gotta study it the same day because you're gonna forget it's all about memory like you wanna refresh it refresh it refresh it that's the best way you can survive in these type of classes number two is make it plan like make a study plan my calendar I have what times I'll be so let's say I have classes from 8 to 12 um, I say so go class 8 to 12 and like after 12 I'll get a lunch and then after lunch I will be setting my times how I'm going to be dividing my time for which course so um, I usually this is what I did I usually studied OCHEM first because um, um, OCHEM is like um, very you have to practice a lot so I spent like two hours of on OCHEM and, um, and then I went to bio so I, I spent hour on bio and hour on uh, let's say physics and hour on my GE so um, it all depends on how you want to arrange those timing but make a study plan like I cannot um, like this is so important a lot of people that made a study plan they succeeded no matter what like managing your time beneficial it's so important to know what you're gonna do tomorrow this is not just for sophomore year this is for your whole career in life like making a plan for everything that you're gonna do um, and so you don't forget and sometimes like um, sophomore year is so like uh, you have so much in your plate that you may forget some assignment so like making sure that you you write every plan and like say oh this assignment is due this day so um, you get a head start on it like a week before so it's important to make a study sheet and like assignment sheet tip number three so um, a lot of students are very shy, um, which I get. You you might have a question, but you don't think it's smart. It's like a, it's like a it's not a smart question. But trust me, any question is smart. Like uh, the reason that you have question is meaning that you're studying. Like you're you're challenging yourself to learn something. And don't get me wrong, college classes are hard. So any question you have, please ask the professor. Don't feel shy. Go to their office hour and make sure you understand that concept. If they're teaching you that concept, they want you to know the concept um, during the test, right? So you knowing the concept will actually lead to you succeeding on that test day, uh, on the final. So make sure you don't have any non-answer question. Like, have all the questions you have answered before you test so you don't yeah and don't say oh i'm man forget about that question it's not going to show up on the test it's going to show up like trust me like there's some stuff that you say oh it's probably not going to show up 
<laughs> they always end up wearing a test. So please ask questions from your professor. Um, they love when students ask questions and like um, they actually uh, will sit down with you and make sure you learn the concept. So even if you don't have question, just go and talk to them and like talk about the concept. They'll be more than happily talk to you and they're super nice. Don't get don't get scared by them. Um, they always say, oh, don't waste their, no, they're there for you. So uh, take your time and ask any questions you have. Tip number four is um, use your resources that school provides you. So UCSB, we have CLES, UNDIS, um, uh, ACE program, TA uh, office hours, uh, actual office hours. So use these resources, like they're so helpful. CLES, for example. So when you, uh, so when you go to lecture, that's one review in your head. And when you study them by your own, that's the second review. CLES is going to be your third review session. So imagine how important that's gonna be uh, for you. Like it, three times when you hear a concept, you automatically, is you're going to pick it up. And if you don't understand it, uh, like by CLES, there's on this. So you can do it four times. And like the most important one for me was student session. So like, um, and we had like biology section classes so like that was like we, we all got together and discussed like biology concepts and it was the best thing because like i knew like if i if i didn't know something um a friend of mine would have helped me so um creating creating study uh, student sessions like um uh, study sessions by yourself um, is super important like use your resources um, use everything you can um, don't say I'm gonna study solo um, like ISO they say don't do that it's not it's not beneficial for you because um, there there might be something that you didn't like catch up in lecture and your friend um, says oh it's super important he mentioned it twice it's probably gonna be on your test so study in a way that you can succeed like um, for me I studied um, ISO study groups I went to CAS all these tips I'm giving you I did them so and it worked for me so um, like as a friend of yours right now I'm telling you do these and you'll be ahead of the game tip number five we always forget this one um, meditation so <laughs> I'm <laughs> I actually I need to work on this too so don't get me wrong um, Meditation is super important. Your sophomore year, um, there is there are a lot of course loads. Like you, have, you will have so many hours of like studying, and you get burnt out. You don't want that. So that's all I'm saying. Make a study plan so you at least know what your schedule is gonna look like. And I'm sure you're gonna have one or two hours free. But those two hours is so crucial to like use them wisely. Go out with friends. Go out to downtown, uh, downtown Santa Barbara. Like, um, eat dinner with friends and like, go like walk by the beach. And honestly, don't. I I I hate to say it, but also most of us like spend time on uh, social media mostly than going outside, which I don't think is beneficial. I feel like going on a run is super fun. Like, that's what I do. Like. Um, Anytime I finish my studies, uh, like um, I finish my planning, I'm uh, I say, okay, now I gotta like go meditate. I go on a run, I listen to my chill music, and yeah, it, it kind of gives me more energy to come back and study even more. So meditation is super key. Um, use it. Don't don't stress. Like don't study 24/7. Um, that's not that's not what college is. College is about making um, experiences, like unique experiences. So like. Um, it's all about learning and getting, gaining experiences, but yeah, so meditate, um, use, use all your resources out there. Um, I'm sure rec center, like at UCSB, they have some program, fun programs, uh, like you can play soccer with your friends. So please do those. They're super fun, um, helpful. They'll get your mind off of the, like the uh, education stuff for a little bit. And it gives you more motivation to study. Like so yeah meditation is another key point you didn't see that coming huh did you no i got you okay lastly um so this video was a general overview of what sophomore year is um i want to give you guys more deeply of like um, the two main courses of your sophomore year so biology 
and OCHEM. So I want to give you guys how I studied them and what the uh, what were the ways I succeed in those classes. And um, I'm gonna like break it apart what worked for me what didn't work for me uh, so you guys have a better understanding how to approach those classes and uh, my last message is like don't be scared of a sophomore year uh, this is another page of our um, uh, book of like uh, undergraduates but don't worry about it like um, just try your best um, it's gonna be challenging but through hard work and passion and uh, you will be you'll be far behind like uh, trust me like i just finished sophomore year it was yeah it was one of the most difficult years but um like what with my work ethic i think um i managed to do very good so i um, i hope you do the same uh trust me uh with the approach that i just told you guys like studying every day um it helps you out so i wish you guys the best shoot me any questions you have on e like email me uh i put my instagram down below uh, my Facebook page, um, uh, my email. Ask me any questions you have. I, uh, like a couple of you guys ask me questions. I love them. Um, you guys are super passionate about coming to UC UCSB, and I see you guys sometimes over campus. Don't be shy to say hi. Like um, <laughs> I'm not gonna bite you or anything. So um, I wish you guys to uh, succeed and see you guys soon. Well, I'll see you guys in the next video.